Why do you support Ethereum Classic? Well, because someone has to. Despite what the Ethereum community has to say about me, the books and the founders and all these other things about how horrible of a human being I am and all this stuff, at the end of the day, we raised money. And we raised money with two promises, and we didn't make it clear. There was a CODIS law component, and there was a world computer component. Split, somebody had to make sure that the CODIS law had proper support and that those people got a fair shake because they weren't going to be taken care of by the Ethereum Foundation. So I put my money where my mouth was, and I came in and helped them out, got them to a certain point. Other people came and got them to a certain point and then left. Four years later, come back, and ecosystem's not really in good hands. And so we're making a proposal to do something different, and we'll see what happens. And the community will decide one way or the other. And maybe they want to do something. Maybe they don't want to do something. And they'll be given a fair choice. Now, if they want to do something, then we get to go explore Coda's Law. The only other cryptocurrency that can do that is Bitcoin, and they're not going to do that. So that's really cool. And if we win the proposal, we're going to hire a full-time philosopher to work just alongside the development team and actually write a whole corpus of knowledge about this very idea. This is totally different from anything we're doing with Cardano or other projects. It's exploring a very philosophical viewpoint about how cryptocurrencies ought to work. And we can innovate inside that space. And I think that's a pretty cool thing to do. Who knows what the value and size of that is going to be, if it's small or large or the market appetite. But that's the point of being an innovator. And that's the point of creating things and exploring things and building a community, a distinct community that does things differently. And I'd like to change the name. If we go to a new standard, it makes no sense to be called Ethereum Classic. Throw all that past and toxicity away. Go do something novel and new and be your own man. What do you think about the bill to remove the Electoral College? Do you think it'll pass? You can't remove the Electoral College with a piece of legislation. You can only remove it through a constitutional amendment. So no, it will not pass.